Kabam have not had a good update with 99 problems to incursions, nodes, and so much more. We give a little bit of a roundup of things that Kabam have still got scuffed at the moment and what they're doing about it. Good news though, Mantis is getting a buff. Noise. The Paragon Daily card broke so bad they missed the tier 6 class catalyst. Really annoying, especially if you're spending on the game. And is this the most blatant cheater in MCOC history? Yes, hello everybody, welcome to the MCN for Wednesday. It is your new content day today in the community. Are you excited? Are you worried? I'm sure Kabam are as well. Please don't break. Please don't break, they're saying. So, let's do a bit of a roundup of things. I ran it from the weekend. Uh, look, the April Fool's Crystal, the Infinity Crystal. Look, you could get yourself this here, this kind of selector for the special title. The special title look. It was a title. I was going to say, look, cool. It was a title. Yeah, so um, so people went ham. I saw Null Space kind of do 14,001 of uh, the Infinity Crystals. I, yeah, I, I, if you saw, I mean, you saw the video at the weekend. I was like, like, I literally had to go and view a house to, to you know, persp perspectively buy the house. So I was like, I can't ring up the, the person. Just go, oh, by the way, I can't make it. I'm too busy frantically tapping on a screen to get a infinity crystal up to a certain point. I may or may not get a special title. Um, imagine trying to explain that to your wife, that that's the reason that we didn't go out to see the house, which we're potentially needing to buy because our house is being bought. These are very real circumstances. Any case, um, well done to anybody with a person perseverance to to do that 14,001 I did my head to sir and we continue with more fun and good news when it comes to a uh, buff there's a buff coming for mantis mantis is getting it tuned up armed with a potent guaranteed critical sp2 mantis was designed to be the most effective and short in shorter fights i.e alliance war and battlegrounds so far we're seeing mantis do quite well in her optimal matchup science defenders with incoming uh, debuffs but she's performing lower than we'd like in other complex encounters given her higher risk play style we'll be looking to increase her damage in non-optimal matchups so that's good so we're going to see a, a buff uh, for mantis uh, coming very soon uh, jessica jones no changes for jessica she's feeling like the sturdy brawler that she should uh, should on defense on defense her performance has been boosted even higher by the synergy her abilities have with some notes especially in her debut into battleground season five but we're happy with the growing trend of cleanse champions and other strategies being used to counter her. So a timeline for all these particular champions uh, going into review is uh, is this 39.0 tune up for, for Mantis is 39 uh, uh, which is the May release and 40 which is June and that's uh, going to be with CCP beta with a release fully in July um, for the champions and Kabam as a reminder we also have Shuri and Atuma going through their tune up process as well with the CCP beta release coming very soon and a full release in June's update. I need to check when that is for, for me to kind of review. I don't, I don't think it's been mentioned but I, I don't know I, I try to keep track of these things but uh, I do want to do more of these t type of videos where I kind of review buffs coming in for certain champions I like the way that I'm kind of like approaching it and um, well there's something that I'll kind of like continue to do I like the Iceman video I did recently and I think I did something else similar recently like a APOC type thing where we broke it down on little tabs of like where I've been using them rotations and stuff like that so that's something that I'll kind of I, I think I'll continue to do and especially looking forward to testing out Shuri and uh, Atuma. Uh, I should have done Spider-Man, but it's kind of the moment seems to have passed. But any case, moving on. Next up, and wow, what an update it's been. So far, there's been a few bit of scuffy things. Uh, the two things that we've mentioned, well, well, one thing we've mentioned, but it comes with part two. The part one uh, to it was something that I mentioned in the video yesterday, in that uh, the refresh timers for your champions in incursions, if you got in a, a small window, there was this chance that you would have this bug where you were not able to have the five minute, the luxury of the five minute refresh. Instead, you'd have to recharge 120 units cost. Now that's annoying. It's really annoying because then Kaban went in and fixed it. And the the message from Kaban was that if you were, uh, if you spent units on the refresh, which uh, was the message, the message is here, uh, that you would be uh, refunded at the end of it. Now, this is the thing, like a lot of, uh, I've heard a lot of people say like they do not trust Kabam 
in refunding those particular units. And I'm still making this decision right now, after I record the MCN, whether or not I'm going to be pushing into, um, because I lost some of the key champions, or I've had to, I will have to refresh to get these champions kind of sorted out. And that's a problem because I would I would be down a substantial amount of units and I didn't have time over the weekend. As I said, I'm trying to we're trying to buy it. Me and Emma are trying to buy a new house. So we've been trying to, you know, obviously go and view houses or our mortgage, get solicitors in place and stuff like that. So I haven't had enough time to do arena, therefore I've not had enough time to put as a sufficient unit in preparation for doing this, because I will be down a substantial amount of units before new content comes in and i'll have to get things like full energy refills to get through the content because there's so many um there's so much energy that needs to be spent very early on <sighs> bit of a mouthful there but um yeah to the point right it's not exactly ideal from what kabam have done that's the part one the part two to this is that there's also an issue with note um i saw messages to, to me on uh, twitter about it and, and yeah, like uh, any chance to get a quick fix for the four zone hack issue. Unfortunately, my app auto updated in the night and there's no way I'll be back to finish without those. Uh, so basically, uh, some of the nodes were expiring. Here's a good example of this. So this is from uh, Dakish on, uh, on Twitter. There's a part two to, to hit this as well. Just showcasing that some of the permanent hacks have been uh, expiring. They've got zones, um, I think this is not like an, an example of it, but uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, so they've, they've expired. So you kind of like pick some of the, the, the permanent hacks or the, the hacks that are meant to survive a larger chunk of rooms instead of just kind of like straight expiring. It's not good. I don't know if actually it was some of the, 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 the top hacks that you just showcased um within within there like the left oh, anyway right there's hacks that aren't working correctly this is co this is definitely you know 100 percent uh, confirmed uh, by kabam on this but it's what they're doing about it that's a problem as I said from the twitter thread that we were just like uh, uh, looking at an action a moment ago uh still has four zone duration would be nice to get a fix for this um but then kabam say the game team has pushed a fix to resolve this issue with the expiring boss node buffs oh it's the boss nodes ones any buffs you acquire in new runs starting now should be at their intended length sorry for the inconvenience our team is discussing any potential actions to follow up on this issue and this is the problem this goes into it like not everybody has the time to do things with this particular incursions like I, I didn't plan to get an offer on my house and sell my house I, I really didn't I, I didn't think that was going to happen we've had our house on the market for the last year and me and em were like we're just giving up to the fact that we're probably not gonna probably not gonna have uh, sold and then all of a sudden last tuesday oh um yeah we'll, we'll take take house and i was like ah oh, christ that's uh that's kind of um that's basically involved like they're silly me and i've got sleepless nights because we're like we need to get a new house and there's not much available so we're like right we're gonna have to compromise on certain things and that's anyway uh like but that's life like i'm not i'm not kind of complaining i'm just saying like, that's that's life the spanners always put in the works and you have to like a game has to come secondary to that but any case right um this was a uh, ticket that was put through to Kabam on uh, on the subject by Dakish, who got this response. I have shared the details of these unexpected events with the appropriate team's review. We appreciate your report and patience during this process, though we'll be unable to provide updates to investigation this ticket, yada, 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 in-game mail would affect... Yeah, so it's just like there's nothing of a, of a response. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry, I am sorry to say, you know, that's the case. Like, if you're in a run at the moment... Kabam have scuppered you uh, because the new update has just led to just all manner of things not going well. But if you want to reset, it will be fixed, which is just really annoying. And now on to yet more scuff. Yes, it's all scuffy time. I don't know if you've seen in game at the moment, there is these uh, Paragon Daily things, these Paragon Daily kind of card <laughs> deals. Um, which gives a 10% oh it's not daily sorry I thought well it's a daily card you get it but you get 10% uh, of a tier 6 class catalyst fragment selector this then starts the um, is it the depreciation I talk about this a lot I'm going to probably do a video on Sunday about 7 stars coming depreciation and stuff like that because we're, getting, we're starting to see this again the kind of the, the cost lowering down of things and tier 6 class catalyst is, is kind of like is one of them especially as you get that, that small snifter of a uh, tier 6 CC which obviously you need in order to uh, potentially rank up a 7 star if they follow that kind of dynamic or it's ranking up a um, 
uh, a six star to, to rank five. But there we go. That's kind of like that's there. But there was a problem. Yes, a problem. A uh, problem with the uh, the selector in that uh, when it went live uh, that it wasn't working correctly. Uh, Kabam Jack said um, that uh, it's been noted as a problem. And an update, the deal is meant to include advertised tier 6 class catalyst. The error was in showing the items, not the advertised uh, graphic. So, uh, yeah, the graphic kind of like gives this indication that uh, it's right. So there's nothing over tier 6 CC uh, or, or whatnot. Uh, if anyone has purchased this deal and is concerned about receiving their tier 6 class catalyst, please force close and relaunch your game and it should appear there are further issues or concerns please submit a support ticket and our team will look more closely at your account uh, so yeah whether or not you kind of like felt that it was misleading or not again it's down to you i mean i don't spend um and i don't plan to spend in the future i was thinking about coming back to spend this year um I don't know if like Brian Brian Grant said something about spending. I don't. Know if, I thought it was like um, spending on his. I thought he was kind of. It was like an April Fools. I need to check whether or not it was kind of like. It was like an April Fools thing. No, it was posted on the fourth of April. Unless he's getting his dates wrong. Um, I don't know. It's kind of weird to see that um, we may go in the opposite directions. Then for me, the last two nearly two years, I've been free to play, and then he's kind of go, going to go the other way. It's kind of like what's going on here? The world. The world's going all topsy turvy, all like that. In any case, back to uh, back to the point. Yeah, if you're spending, you're spending. If you don't spend, you don't. It's up to you. You can do what you like. It's your money. But uh, yeah, the tier six class catalyst selector. It's nice for certain players, but it's only ten percent. So it's like, what's gonna what's gonna do? It's not gonna make a big dent. Weird that it's available for for. The, well, I don't know. Is it available for Th throne breaker and upwards? In any case, Snifter is a Snifter of a tier six class catalyst, and uh, the kind of final say on this was: I know this is largely resolved, but and because people were saying that they weren't still getting the tier six class catalyst. If anyone was missing items that did not appear after restart, team is digging through data behind the scenes and will be sending out anything that didn't appear after purchase. We request that you hold off contacting support until we've had a chance to send everything out. We'll update once we've sent them out. Updated. I want to assume that it's been resolved. It's not. There's a thread. If you go and check out the link in the description. And if you haven't received your items, make sure to do a support ticket because now's the window. As done. You should be. You should be. They should have got it to you now. And if they haven't, there's a problem. And now on to the most blatant cheater in Marvel Contest of Champions. So I got sent this last week, shout out to Shu Gokus, and funny enough, he sent me out on April 1st, so I thought it was an April Fool's. No, no, no. It's, 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 it's legit, as in it's a legit cheater. They're quite clever in that they've put stickers over certain areas where you could see particular information. And uh, don't worry, they've been kind of like information of this has been forwarded to Kabam. I don't know what really action could be taken. It's a bit of a difficult one to to kind of gauge. The reason being is that uh, there's certain things that are kind of giveaways. And I would say at some point they will be banned. It's just a case of like finding out like when and what and how, how what kind of information Kabam could actually kind of like take from this. Because as I said, very clever in that uh, they've uh, they kind of they've recorded this screen but there is some ev extra evidence with this which um kabam can like you know um take into consideration and the mod they're using seems to have some sort of like autoplay function within it so whether or not there is something that is kind of like yeah just like an auto playing like uh, arena bot and they said auto bot arena bot type thing and as well yeah just some like high damage kind of like multiplier that's kind of in with it i don't know i'm not really in this kind of sphere of mods and hacks because I don't care. I find it very cringe, especially because all this effort. And I guess he's glad he's not on autoplay because his account will probably be banned at some point. But also, if Kabama handling it, that probably means that he's going to be able to keep his 18,000 units if that's how much he's got by that time. Funny enough, the person as well is live. I mean, look, they're just this is live at the moment on uh, on Twitch. Like, there's like they go, there's a live thing right there. Um, oh, 55. Is it 55 uh, degrees something or other? What's he doing? What's he typing? That is pre there's information there. <laughs> oh, there's there we go. The, the cheats coming on as well. Oh, this is this is exciting. I'm sure people would wonder like, well, how does this kind of like discern this this particular person as a cheat? Well, number one, you wouldn't need to hide all of this stuff here by stickers. I mean, that's the first thing. Uh, and there's some questionable things when it comes to like the 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 champion strength that this particular person has, and also has demonstrated and showcased. Also, the player does uh, brag in the streams about doing this, uh, but also, um, yeah, the, um, the um, 
no, you've noticed this, like when when you when you play a game, you 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 you're meant to you're meant to be holding you're meant to be holding the screen. I mean, we just demonstrated where he he wasn't holding anything with the de the device that the the device is not thumbs thumbs are required to play the game. Yeah, fingers, thumbs. Yeah, um, that's that's one thing. So it is. Um, it's an auto-playing bot. We end the show on Arena Predictions. Mysterio is going to be your featured and Spider-Man Supreme is going to be your basic champion. Now, the prediction I'm going with is as follows. Mysterio is a 6-star, 120 mil. Mysterio is a 5-star, 35 mil. This comes in line with a recent Hood Arena, which I kind of feel is going to go in there because it's a featured one. Spider-Man Supreme, I'm going with 60 mil for the 6-star. Could be 50 to 60 mil. It's a great champion. If you want a champion for EOP that helps out with Spider-Verse, he is great a real decent option against Icarus and few and a couple of I oh know one other one other champion an EOP route Spider-Man Supreme 5 star I'll go 20 mil for the basic and we end the show by saying thank you very much to those that support the channel as a YouTube member and as a patron who are on screen right now and also those that support on twitch.tv slash rich the man live I'll see you all very soon whenever I do a live stream I'm a busy boy with stuff and finally, check out some other content that'll be on stream right now. Come on, I didn't know you on saying that, you know, got our stuff that'll be on and be on. Yeah, 70 Cent screwdriver. Bye.